Whenever we have to approach a problem, we can ask two types of questions. Why and what? You see, generally, when we ask what, we get information at its surface value. For example, when we ask questions like, what is the name of this bird? Or what is the name of the rocket which carried humans to the moon? We get the answer, right? But besides knowing the name, we really don't learn anything. Now, don't get me wrong. Questions like these are still very important, as terminology, in any form, helps us sort and preserve information in a very crisp manner. It's central to the human spirit to question everything and get to the deepest level of understanding with whichever framework we exist in and with whichever tools we have. Asking the right questions are imperative for getting us there. When we ask why, we do exactly that. For example, if I were to ask why the sky is blue, then I would answer it by talking about how air molecules scatter light coming from the sun. But in order to understand exactly why light scatters, I would have to ask more questions. And in order for me to understand what light even is, I would end up asking even more questions. In the end, if I answered all the questions correctly, I would bore through all the levels of knowledge and get to understand the fundamental nature of reality. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, one is not bound to answer all the questions, but the point here is different. The point of asking why or how is to get to the root of, well, any problem. It's these questions which led scientists to find out about the universe. It's important, however, to also not get carried away. Asking the right questions within your current limits and then building up your intuition so that you can move on to the next level is an excellent method of gaining knowledge for the world around you. All the best. The point of this video is to purely highlight how changing the approach one takes to tackle anything can make drastic changes in our understanding. Not to stop asking what. Curiosity alone does not substitute for hard work. So remember to ask and answer questions with whichever tools you have now. And at a later stage of understanding, ask deeper questions.